Hey there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist. And today I'm going to be looking at marijuana, answering four key questions. How does it act in the body? How do different types of marijuana affect you differently? Is marijuana bad for you? And what to do if you've had too much? Marijuana is a plant that contains a chemical called THC, tetrahydrocannabinol. And there's cannabinoid receptors all over your body, which respond to a chemical called anandamide. Now, THC is structurally similar to anandamide, so it binds to these cannabinoid receptors, causing a whole range of effects. Now, there's a lot of cannabinoid receptors in your brain. When THC acts on your hypothalamus, it messes with your appetite control and your sex drive, making you hungry and horny. When THC acts on your amygdala, it can trigger certain emotions like anxiety or fear. When THC acts on your cerebellum, it affects things like your motor control and your balance, making you really clumsy. And when THC acts on your hippocampus, it makes it really difficult to remember and learn things. Basically, when you use marijuana, you can't function as efficiently as normal, but you feel good. Fun fact, marijuana has a lot of names, weed, pot, grass, bud, ganja, Mary Jane, 420, chronic, skunk, reefer, nuggets, stinkweed, charge, cannabis, dope, colombo, maui wowie, houdini, spliff, alfalfa, green, dank, and my personal favorite, devil's lettuce. When you use marijuana, it can make you feel happy, relaxed, maybe even a little bit hungry but it can also make you feel forgetful, anxious, and really uncoordinated. And that depends on how sensitive you are to THC, as well as how much THC you actually consume. For example, let's talk about indica and sativa. These are two types of marijuana that cause two very different effects. Sativa is supposed to make you very excited or high, while indica is supposed to make you feel very relaxed or stoned. A good way to remember this is that indica will have you in the couch. The reason that they act differently is because different strains of marijuana are going to have different amounts of THC, as well as several other compounds that are going to have varying effects in your body. In terms of chronic usage of marijuana, like every day for several years, it's claimed to have certain adverse effects, including reduced memory and learning abilities, sexual dysfunction and infertility, a weaker immune system, increased blood pressure, and it's even believed to cause certain cancers. But everything causes cancer nowadays. And none of these adverse effects have been proven through documented research anyway. They're just theoretical effects. What might happen? More studies are currently underway to determine if chronic marijuana usage is bad for you or good for you. Studies have shown that chronic users of marijuana do have less gray matter in their brain, but that doesn't actually cause any problems. However, if you are smoking marijuana, that will cause lung damage. And that is a scientific fact. If you use marijuana regularly, you become more tolerant of it. This is because your brain reduces the amount of cannabinoid receptors, making the drug less effective. But if you stop using marijuana for a couple of weeks, your tolerance will go away, your receptors will come back, and you'll be a lightweight again. THC also activates the brain's reward system, causing a release of dopamine to make you feel good. But is marijuana addictive? Well, there's no evidence that marijuana is physically addictive, but it is known to cause a psychological addiction and a sort of social dependence. So you might feel like you need it, but you actually don't. Studies have also shown that marijuana can be utilized as an effective medical treatment for a number of diseases, including Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, glaucoma, chronic pain, cancer, epilepsy, arthritis, asthma, heaps of diseases. And people with these diseases should have access to medical marijuana as a treatment option. So hopefully marijuana becomes a more accepted medical treatment in the near future. Greening out, it's easy to have too much marijuana. Especially if someone's cooked it into these tasty brownies that it's so good that you just Forget that they actually contain THC. You just eat them all up. You just go, you go to town. You eat those bad boys. Om nom nom. You have a second, you're like, hell yeah, this is good. <laughs> and then it happens. And it's bad. And if someone you know is greening out, 
Here are some of the symptoms that they might suffer from. You feel funny, a bit of a tingling sensation. You might start to feel a bit dazed and confused. And then you start to feel anxious. And then you start to get paranoid and start to freak out. Maybe you feel really nauseous and maybe you start vomiting. It's, uh, it's not fun. It's okay, just remain calm. Even though you might feel like you're dying, you cannot die from having too much marijuana. It's impossible, it's never happened before. You just need to wait for your body to metabolize the THC in your system. In the meantime, just drink some water and just try to relax and remain calm. If you're with someone who's greening out, try to reassure them and make them feel safe. Don't leave them alone and don't freak them out. If they've had a really high dosage of THC, get an ambulance to take them to the hospital, but otherwise, just take care of them. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you learned something or you like this video, click the like button down below. And if you have any questions or comments about marijuana, let us know in the comments section down below. Next week's video is gonna be all about the science behind magic mushrooms. So make sure you subscribe for more traveling science every single week. And I'm gonna see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers. And you just like can't help yourself. You just go to you go to town. You eat those bad boys. Oh no 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 no